In this tutorial, we will take a look at a couple of commercial options that are available to Linux users that allow them to run certain Windows applications in Linux. There is a free and open source project called Wine that attempts to do the same thing, and Wine works very well for a certain number of applications. But sometimes there are applications that do not run well with Wine. Perhaps there are high-end 3D games that also do not run well with Wine, and therefore these commercial offerings have, have come to the market and they do help fill that void. There are also virtual machines, of course, that are available for Linux, such as Parallels and VMware and others, that allow people to actually run an entire Windows operating system in Linux. That's not the subject of this tutorial, but that is another option. The first commercial product that's available for Linux users uh, to run Windows applications is the Crossover products by a company called Codeweavers. Crossover makes software for the Mac and for Linux that allow those two systems to run Windows applications natively. Again, th this is native software for Linux that runs on Linux and allows Linux users to run Windows applications. It does not require a Windows license, does not require a copy of Windows itself. It's a separate product. Actually, Crossover is based on Wine, and the company Codeweavers is a big contributor and does uh, con contribute its code back to the Wine project. That's one of the benefits of using the open source model is that it can provide both free and open source products as well as commercial products with some good sharing between the two uh, different communities. But the Crossover Linux product is available at a, at a small fee uh, from the Codeweavers website. It does have an explanation of, of the requirements and how to install it. It's not, not terrible complicated since it is based on wine I mean the, the installation process is similar there's also a compatibility list and this compatibility list is very helpful and I, I definitely encourage people to look at the compatibility list if they're considering buying uh, the code weavers crossover office to make sure that the application they're looking for uh, is supported they have the um, applications browsable by name by category by group by company and by rank and it's uh, it's very easy to find and they basically rank their applications on a, on a metal system and by looking at rank we can see the the gold the silver the honorable mention things like that I guess the the, the gold is the is the highest level silver and then honorable mention there might be a platinum but there are lots of lots of applications that are that are supported very well that work that work extremely well. Microsoft Office works very well. Quicken, Excel, PowerPoint, World of Warcraft as the game works very well. So there's a lot of a uh, lot of different options in here and the crossover product also I believe contains a browser plugin that allows some additional browser plugins that are not available on Linux. For example, Shockwave player, not Flash, but the Shockwave player to run, and I think a QuickTime plugin and some other things to run in Linux as well. In addition to the Codeweavers crossover product, there's another product from a company called Transgaming, and this product is called Sedega. Now, Sedega uh, is really limited to games. The idea behind uh, Sedega is to bring the ability to play high-end 3D games on Linux, and that's their main focus, and it's to provide direct 3D support and other things that allow these high-end games to run. There is a, um, a database of games also available at the transgaming.org website, which is sort of a community website. But there is a games database as well as a forum and an FAQ. And uh, Sedega is is actively maintained, and, and it's uh, you know the company has been around for many years, as had uh, as has Codeweavers. And so both of these products are not new, and they're, and they're continually modified and continually improved. And again, sometimes there are issues, and not every single game is going to work. And certainly a brand new new game probably takes a little bit of time to filter in, but looking at this list right here, there are, there are certainly new games that have come out within the last uh, six months or, or even less uh, to the uh, Sedega system that appear to work well. So those are two options, two commercial options. Both of those are pay products. I believe the Sedega product is a, is a, it's a free piece of software, but then there's a, a subscription that's required, a small monthly subscription, whereas the Code Weavers product is just a single purchase a product that is downloaded and installed with a, with an activation key. But those two products, along with virtual machines and, and the Wine free software product, all provide lots of opportunities for Linux users to get Windows applications to to run on Linux and generally speaking it does seem that most of the time people are able to get most Windows software to work one way or another perhaps some very specialized high-end applications that are not used by a great number of people might not work very well but uh, certainly the broad base of consumer software out there 
most of them are going, to, are going to work in Linux using one of these alternatives. So that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much.